Hello, and welcome to week seven of the Family Diabetes Education class. My name is Connie Horton, and I am a diabetes educator and been doing diabetes for over 25 years and have had type 1 diabetes over 40 years. Today, we're going to talk about our goals and see how things are going with your goals. This class, since you're doing it by listening to the class, is going to be shorter today. The main time you will be spending is with your family member discussing your goals and looking at setting new goals or revising the goals you currently have. So let's get started. Today we're going to talk about your goals, your successes, any challenges you have. How do you need to adjust your goal or do you need a new goal? And then looking at setting a family goal today. Let's talk about successes. How has working towards your goal improved your diabetes and overall health? Is there anything you can do to continue working towards your goal? Or maybe you've already been meeting your goal regularly, and if you are, maybe you need to add a new goal. These are things you need to think about. Let's talk about challenges a little bit. Think about challenges you've had working towards your goal. How have you been coping with this challenge? We talked about different ways of coping with our challenges. Do you feel your goal is practical, measurable, realistic for right now? And where can you find support to help you cope with the challenges that you have? I'd like for you to turn to page seven in your goal setting workbook. During the time after class, you will choose what exercises to work on together. At the end of week eight class, your educator may get with you to help you determine how your conversation went and how things are going with your goals since you don't get to do that today in this setting. Remember, you should have two goals. The first is the person's with diabetes health goal. It may be the same one as you set in session three. You may want to adjust it a little bit or add a new goal to it if you're having a lot of success with it. Remember, it's important that these goals are practical, measurable, and realistic given that you're what you're currently doing. It's best if something you could do at least four days a week. So instead of saying you want to lose one pound, say, what could you do four days a week that could help you lose one pound? The second goal is going to be a family goal. This is a goal the family member makes to support the person with diabetes goal. You'll do an exercise together that will help you set the family goal. Which exercise do we want to do for our family goal? If you look on page 8 in your goal setting workbook, this area here will help you figure out which family exercise you would like to do. Communicating needs version one or version two, developing accountability partner, possibly collaborative problem solving. This table on page eight is gonna help you pick which one you will use. When you're discussing how things have been going, one of these may pop out to you. Communicating needs comes in two versions. The first helps you talk about how to work toward the goal together. The second helps if you're getting a lot of reminders for your goal but feeling discouraged. Developing an accountability partnership may be best if your family member also wants to work toward a health goal or if they have a similar goal to yours. It's also good if you are having a lot of success and want to keep it up. You can also do collaborative problem solving again. If, you've ha if you're having a new barrier or challenge in meeting your goal, there's a second copy of that in your workbook. If you're not certain which one to choose, that's okay. Just choose one that you haven't done yet. Now you need to work on your goal. I would like for you to spend 20 to 30 minutes working on goal with your family member. Talk about your goals with each other. Once you have a goal, work together on an exercise, one of the ones we just mentioned. 
The exercise will help you identify a family member goal. Remember, our family goal has a grading scale. When choosing your family goal, let's review the grading scale. Bad means there's no family goal. Okay would be, I'm going to remind them to do something or will help with the patient's goal, but no clear plan. A good family go will do a specific action that will be helpful or schedule check-ins to discuss progress. An extra credit is doing the goal together. That's the end of today's session. Look at your successes, look at your challenges, and then next week we need you to bring your Diabetes Basic book, My Food Plan pamphlet, the Arkansas Department of Health Stamp Out Smoking pamphlet, the example food label, and the handout on physical activity. Have a good week, and at the end of class next week, plan on staying a few extra minutes to look at your goals and your goal setting with your educator. Have a great week.